Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the 2020 challenge. I'm going to be building a guitar that you designed in 20 hours and 20 minutes. Burn it. Ah, <laughs> yay! Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to a bonus episode of the 2020 build. It is not done yet. Seriously, you guys are amazing. A lot of you have watched this and uh, gritted their teeth and looked on with horror or, or delight as I, as I created this. Now, I, I could not be happier. Well, I could be happier. I've got a few little tiny things that I'm gonna fix in this episode and then I'm gonna go through the whole guitar and we're gonna look a little bit closer and look at the design choices, look at the, the things that I'm gonna maybe do differently, the things that I would like to do uh, moving forward with this idea. We're also gonna hear it being played through a slightly better setup recording system. But before I do that, I need to have the last coffee of the 2020 build. I think they're actually starting to make mugs uh, based on this, which is great, with a clean back so that you can do your own. Um, so throughout this build, I've been drinking a lot of coffee and uh, one, of, one of you actually, Eldon, decided to send me a pot of his favorite coffee. And if anybody else, you know, fancies doing the same, I, I wouldn't say no. But uh, yeah, this is uh, Cafe de Monde from uh, Louisiana. Yes, I've been looking forward to this. I promised him that I would uh, drink my first cup of it in the last video. So there we go. Uh, coffee in. Now, what happened with this bridge is uh, they were fantastic little keyholes. Okay, uh, fantastic keyholes in it for where the ball ends go, and which I, I, you know, very cleverly completely matched forgetting that the ball end needed to go somewhere else. So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, I completely forgot. And you guys have noticed, uh, I'm completely rebuilding, redesigning my whole tool rack and I've, <laughs> I've lost my, uh, my neck rest as a result. Come on, it's an acoustic one. Uh, yeah, it's something that I do every now and then. Um, that's far too big, but anyway. My tool rack just wasn't. It wasn't organized enough, so I'm gonna be building um, two or three movable racks with planes and chisels and files and things, and the tools that I actually use are gonna be here, but uh, that will be, that will be coming up soon. So uh, yeah, if you guys come around here, you'll see what the exact issue is. Uh, the ball ends on some of them ended up just wedging under there instead of wedging underneath the bridge. And honestly, there is no excuse. It's pure foolishness and short-sighted. I don't know, I just I completely messed up. So what I'm gonna do is unscrew all of them. So I did try and rapidly fix this with a hand drill towards the end of the build. I, I, I just, silly, I matched the keyhole. Well, done. Which means the ball end just has nowhere to go except up and out. I was supposed to make a nice little oval shape, which I will do. Drill, drill bits. No, I don't have too many tools. Don't even say such a thing. When, when getting a tool off your tool rack makes you smile, it's a good day. Just right. Essentially, that goes underneath and the metal is holding it in. I might as well, to save confusion, do each string individually. Now at this stage, and because I have a captive audience, I have an announcement to make. While I was replying to various comments uh, on YouTube, which I, I do a lot, an hour or so a night actually, um, I suddenly realized that I didn't have a case for this. And that because somebody's going to win it, we're going to have to ship it out. And you know, this is a rather large guitar. I thought, Phew, 
would it not be fun if, without a time limit, I was to build my first ever custom guitar case? So this isn't even the last video of the series. This is the penultimate video of the series because I'm going to do just that. Uh, and it might go horrifically wrong. We'll see. I don't want to change the height of the uh, Allen keys, if I can help it. And this is where we find out if the strings are just too short or not, because obviously they weren't in the correct place. I think we'll be all right. Ooh. Will we? Do I need new strings or not? Do da, do da. <laughs> yeah, I need new strings. <sighs> what a shame. I'm going to have to save these for something. Ah, do you know what? I have children. One of them has a smaller than usual guitar because, you know, they're a child and slightly smaller than usual. Um, so those will go nicely on there. Or to get some strings. No. Or to drink some coffee. Oh, hell yeah. Can you just leave me alone to this emotional private moment, please? Touching the strings again. We have a buzz. And what that is, if, you, uh, if you've got a, a buzz like this, it, it could be a multitude of things, but uh, if you put your thumbnail, you see, so essentially what it is, is that slot is angled down towards the fretboard rather than away from it. So, So essentially, with the Crimson Guitars razor saw, et voila, coming together. Action. Wow, look at the colour. That's the difference in colour between uh, exposed and unexposed Paduke. So at some point, this guitar is just going to be brown. How does that make you feel? Still going to be an awesome guitar. The action's all sorted, the relief is all sorted, the nut seems to be sorted. That's sorted. We're sorted. So basically, Tune the string and then hit it at the 12th fret. And if the note that you play is high, you need to make the string longer by putting the saddle backwards. And if the note is lower, then you need to make the string shorter. I am higher, so. We get in there.
Vesparar. We have We have a guitar. Okay, um, the guitar does not have a logo. Now, because this is gonna end up being more brown than red, I've gone for one of the white acrylic logos that we use on the production guitars. I'm just gonna glue that to the front of the headstock, to be honest. Now, the thought was that could be out there. But that fits too perfectly for it to not be put there, actually, to be honest. Almost as if. Almost as if it was designed for a logo there. I'm not sure what it is, but um, I think it's having an 11 year old daughter. I've become a whole hell of a lot more snarky recently. In fact, oh, actually, here we go. So the most embarrassing part of this entire build series, um, I'm actually mortified. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, I had a comment from somebody who said, well, something, 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 that isn't very, uh, that isn't a very subtle build now, is it? And it was very late at night, and I replied somewhat snarkily uh, along the lines of, well, you know, the Explorer isn't a very subtle bloody guitar in the first place, is it now? Yada yada. And then I saw another 20 other comments or something similar, and I realized I'd actually asked him to comment about subtlety in a build. I am so embarrassed. If that was you, please forgive me. I'm now crying actually with embarrassment, so. <sighs> okay, we're done, that's out of my system. Um, mortified. Super glue. Privacy, please. <laughs> I am such a fool. Okay. Now, let us do this thing. No, I'm not gonna use super glue. No, do you know what? I've got some double-sided tape downstairs somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna go and grab some of that. See you in a minute. I had to carve out a, a six week or an eight week holiday. I needed to take some time off. Uh, my, my wife was very, very ill and uh, um, we, I didn't know how, how bad it was basically. Everything is fantastic and wonderful now. Um, yay the NHS. But I didn't know, I didn't know. And I also didn't want to just disappear off your screens for for uh, however long it was. And I thought the, the best thing to do would be to do a another time to build. And you know, 20 hours and 20 minutes came to mind. And, but that's not a challenge. You've all seen me build a guitar in 12 hours, nine hours, six hours from scratch. I can do that. It just depends on the design. So obviously I asked you what I should do and you came up with this and I love you for it. Obviously the defining, the defining thing about this guitar and this guitar design is the ports, is the sort of hollow construction kind of thing. And I wouldn't have thought of doing it that way if it wasn't for the shape of the guitar that you chose me to base it on. And I thought, oh, those are, there's a lot of straight lines there. Maybe I can do this. The thing is, this looks incredibly complex. But in reality, it's, it's, it's far from it. It is one of the simplest ways of constructing a guitar body I have ever employed, apart from literally just a plank with a few holes routed in it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, uh, the fan frets, I have the, I have the parallel at 
uh, about eight ish, seven or eight. This is actually something that I've learned in this. 10 or 15 years ago, when I did my first parallel fret, uh, sorry, fan fret instrument, I thought that uh, from some, somewhere I read or saw that it should be, the parallel fret should be at the 12th fret. But uh, having done this and in this build mentioned it that as a mistake, everybody said, well, actually, so and so and so and so and so and so. Everybody does it at the seventh or eighth fret. So, uh, yeah, by mistake, I, uh, I'm right. Uh, but it also shows that I need to not sit back on the knowledge that I think I have. I need to double check um, everything. Don't just assume that because you know something, it is correct. Moving forward, I'm definitely going to be doing something with this style of construction, with less straight lines maybe, we'll see. We can do some, some bending. Uh, I suppose this is also a continuation of the, the, uh, the ideas that we ended up with with Bob, another guitar build. If you haven't watched that, go and check her out. Check her out. Check Bob out. She was beautiful. Fine. Overall, I'm incredibly happy. Uh, the, the, the jack placement is, is okay. Having the open port, I could conceal that somehow, maybe with some sort of a mesh, but within this time frame, I couldn't do it, um, as is evidenced by the fact that I didn't quite finish it on time. We, we're giving this guitar away, and you want it. But you're going to have to wait a little bit longer, because this isn't the last video. This is the penultimate video. I'm not going to buy a hard case for this guitar. I'm going to make one, just for fun, you know. I haven't ever made a guitar case before, and I think it could be quite cool. I'm thinking crushed velvet and Paduke. So, yes. Um, now, this video is going live one day after the end of the month. Uh, we will have all of the data on the day that this goes live, but right now there are still people buying things at crimsonguitars.com in order to enter into the competition to win this guitar. Thank you very much if you did. I am going to announce at some point in the building of the case, I'm going to announce who won the guitar and the case. No, wait, you've won the guitar. You're gonna to have to pay me about 5,000 pounds for the case. No? <laughs> Bad joke. Um, yeah, the guitar and the case is, is gonna be winging its way to somebody somewhere in the world. We've got a spreadsheet. It is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of names. And of course, every 10 pounds that you spend with, within each order is actually another entry. So Talitha has come up with a really clever way of, um, so, really clever. She has it in blocks of however much was spent, and then she just duplicates that block by however many tens are within that block. It's making a huge spreadsheet, but it's fair. So yeah, the guitar is gonna be going to somebody somewhere in the world. And I sincerely hope it's somebody who actually wanted to win it and knew that there was a competition. Because uh, last time, the guy who won the MF kit build uh, wanted it, but he, he just bought the stuff because it was a sale. I'm gonna move on now. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and for everything that you guys are doing. I, I would not be doing this if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't get to do what I do if it wasn't for you. So, yeah. Well, I've got a case to build now and some tools to finish organizing as well. Fun times. See you on the other side. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? It really, really does, you know, help the, the, the channel as a whole, um, knowing who you are. See you soon. I think I need to make myself one too now. How about a 12 hour guitar based on this style? 12 hour style guitar based on something, something. Hmm.